and welcome back to Vlogmas Day. Who the hell knows? Does anyone even know anymore? I, I, I don't know. But for today, I've got quite an exciting video. Well, let me tell you what I'm gonna do first. First of all, I'm gonna take this apple and I'm gonna make it into a pipe. What kind of pipe am I gonna make it into? A Santa pipe, because it's Christmas. And Santa's at Christmas. Get it? Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Here's the disclaimer. What is this pipe for? Well, guess what? I don't want my channel deleted, and I don't want to be demonetized if I ever, ever get to a place where I can make money off this stuff. So I'm just gonna give you a second to decide what you want to use it for. But the things I would recommend are like oregano, tobacco, So, um, let's continue. Here's what you're gonna need to make this Santa pipe. You're going to need an apple. Now listen, if you're like me and you only like gala apples, they're not gonna be fully red. So, use the reddest side. This has a red side. That's what I'm gonna use. Next, you're gonna need a knife. Then you're gonna need something pointy. Um, I'm gonna use chopsticks because that's all I had here. However, when I've done this before, the non-Santa version. I used a turkey thermometer or a candy thermometer. That worked, it's metal and pointy. Uh, the main thing you need is something pointy and long. Uh, that's why I'm using a chopstick. Guess what, I don't know if chopsticks can work. We're gonna find that out together. So get your pointy and long thing. Paper towels, because you're gonna make a mess. I'm gonna use some paper. I got probably not enough paper here, but I'm using the back of an envelope because it's thicker than printer paper, but if you have any kind of white paper, any kind of white paper will work. Toothpicks. Mini marshmallows. Markers, or any kind of um, creative utensil that creates color. Is that everything? That is everything. Let's get to this video. All right, so first things first. Put down a paper towel, because you're gonna make a mess. Um, so I'm gonna actually layer this because I don't want the surface to get all apple-y. Boom. I hope this apple isn't gross because it's been in my cupboard for a while. You're going to want to carve a hole at the top of your apple. You're basically creating like a divot because you're going to, this is gonna serve multi-purpose. It's gonna hold your oregano or tobacco in here. However, there's gonna be a hole going through it um, so that the smoke can go down. So you're tasked with creating like a bowl. Basically, it's a bowl, but not too big of a hole. Like you don't want everything just to fall into the apple. Do you know what I'm saying? So, you don't want the stem is my point. So, the last time I've done this, um, I didn't, like, I feel like I created kind of a bowl that might have been a little too big and it was fine. It still worked, it was fine, so. Um, the seeds are gonna be your, like, in your way. So, hopefully the seeds will come out. You know, whatever. All right, so, it's a little deeper than you want. It'll still work. If you put stuff in there, it'll still work. So don't like freak if your hole is deeper, that's what she said, than you um, anticipated. Next, you're going to take your pointy thing, which, you know what, now that I'm, no, this will go through. How am I gonna describe this? Basically, you're gonna create a hole down the center, but not all the way through. You're not making an apple kebab, so calm your poking. Just down about to the middle of the apple. Then what's gonna happen is, this is the easiest thing for me to do, is, so you put your hole in here, you just poke your stick into the hole, she said. And then you're gonna wanna make your, um, what's it called? I don't know technical names. The air hole that comes out the other side that you can like go like this to your vent, whatever. I call it a vent, it's a, whatever. I like it, you want it to meet so that your holes, so like if this is your down hole and this is your side hole, they meet so that the smoke will go here and then come out this end. Does that make sense? Great, okay. So I'm just gonna make it on the side opposite the red, which you know what, it's probably not, I didn't make it dead center because now I can use my hand, my thumb, like if I was going to 
smoke out of it. This is like a good convenient place for my thumb. And I'm just gonna press in until it meets the other stick. I'm gonna take this one out. Can I feel that stick? Yeah, no actually, they don't meet up. Yeah, there it is. All right, they meet up now. Blow in the top just to make sure air comes out this end and then you know it works. I mean, honestly, you don't want it to be like too crazy or the pipe won't even work, but there you go. All right, guess what your pipe's made? That is literally how easy it is to make an apple pipe, but now it's Christmas. Merry Christmas, ho, ho, ho. You're gonna decorate the shit out of this. Let's decorate this bitch. We've gotta figure out how to make this look like Santa Claus. So what I'm gonna do is put a Santa face here, and then I'm going to make a beard out of marshmallows. So I think the easiest thing is to do is like pull up a picture of Santa on my phone because, I mean, I know what he looks like, but like I wanna, you know what I mean? Like just pull up a picture of Santa, just a Santa cartoon. There we go. So I'm just gonna make a basic Santa, your basic Santa. So we're gonna do, we're gonna take, dang it. I would like my Santa to be visible to myself. So you're gonna take your paper and you're going to take your utensil that produces color, your freaking marker. You know what, move your apple. Move it over here. Just so you know, like a fun fact. The first time I made an apple pipe, I was house sitting for someone and I did not have my normal oregano pipe. So I had to be creative and I made an apple pipe and it worked and it lasted the entire time I was house sitting. I used it every day. Yeah, it turned like yellow. Like a, well apple's already yellow. It turned like a, turned like a color. And I'm just gonna make a circle face for Santa. It, it, what am I trying to say? It looked like it was aging. You know how like if, if your mom packed you an apple for lunch when you were a kid and it started turning colors? It turned colors, but it still worked, it was fine. If anything, it was better because it dried out a little bit and it worked better. This is like reduce, reuse, recycle, you know what I mean? Recycle it more than one day. But if you're in a pickle, if you're in a bind, you're gonna have a handy skill now that not everyone has. So, <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give Santa some eyes and a nose. Then I'm going to create his little beard. Oh crap, I meant to get, I meant to get tape to put this on. So I'm gonna use a toothpick to put this face on because I'm freaking lazy and I don't want to go, um, I'm lazy. I don't wanna go get me tape, unless there's somehow a miracle, miracle by miracle tape and all my crap over here. No, there's not. So I'm not gonna go get tape. But ordinarily, I would put this on with tape. Here's my Santa face. Don't judge. Oh, I don't even have scissors to cut it out with. Oh my God, I'm so unprepared. So also, I have scissors, but guess what? We're humans, and since we have opposable thumbs and fingers, we're capable of making circles happen with our fingers. Guess what, it even has a white edge, so it's like better. We're gonna take toothpicks. I hope you appreciate the supplies I bought for this because I'm never gonna need them again. We're gonna break your toothpick so it's small because you don't want to hurt your little hands, you know what I mean? When you're smoking your wagon, no. So uh, let's see. I'm just gonna go like this to Santa. Come on, Santa. So I'm gonna place your face, Santa Santa's face. Where did I put the hole? So the hole is here. So Santa's face is about here. There we go. There you go, Santa. Now it's marshmallow time. I actually should make a Santa hat too. We're gonna do a little triangle. I'm just doing a normal triangle because it's gonna be too hard to use my fingers to cut out a different kind of triangle. Uh, this is fine, it's whatever. Um, I'm actually just going to impale this sucker on here. Is it gonna work? No, it's not gonna work. I'm gonna remove this stake and put this hat here and then re-impale that. There we go. Okay, now, where did the rest of my toothpicks go? They're here. Now it's marshmallow time. 
do miss being able to eat marshmallows. Okay, now we're gonna make a beard. So I'm gonna actually have to turn this toward me because I'm, you know, actually, there, we'll do it like this. Cut your toothpick into little bitty pieces so that you can stick it. It needs to be pointy so it'll go into the apple. Okay, let's just see what this looks like. Gently impale your marshmallow. I can't guarantee the marshmallow is going to look good in another day, but whatever. You'll find that out. We'll find that out together. Not really, because I won't be watching you do this, but ugh, gross. Okay, I would suggest from that first experiment, putting your toothpick in first and then impaling the marshmallow on top of it. Press it in pretty far because you don't want to stick your little pretty fingers. Little pretty fingers. You don't want to stick your pretty little fingers. God, look at you, Santa. How cute Santa is. Little Santa. Little Santa. Little Santa. He's coming along. Just give him a little beard. He normally has a mustache, so I'm gonna give him a little mustache because a marsh stash, a marshmallow stash is gonna be a little Tricky. So I'm going in with the gray because it's got some white in it. Next, you've got to add the pom pom to the top of the hat because Santa. No, oh, that's not gonna work. We need a new fresh toothpick. I can't believe I bought an entire thing of toothpicks to use three. Now, I'm also going to take, because if you don't, if you recall, I used a toothpick to secure Santa's face and hat. Now. This isn't a morbid death apple. Like, I didn't just like get, impale Santa in the head and then have it for all to see. We've gotta cover that up. So, take another marshmallow and kind of elongate it. Now it's sticky. And then stick it on there so that it is the base of the hat. And voila! You got freaking Santa Claus, guys. Look at that. Okay, now. Obviously, I can't really do this on camera, but this is how you do that. You take your Santa, because it is completed now. Let me just turn it around. So we've got Santa, we've got, this is the hole you created in the back, so that, again, when you hold it, and Santa's in the front, the hole's like right here. So you can hold it like this. And you're going to put your oregano in the top, don't like pack it into the air hole that's in there. Just like put it in the bowl, okay? And then light it. Light it. Hold on. Oh my God, I'm an idiot. That's right. I've only made this once, so calm down. So you're not blowing out of this. Just kidding, that would be a very bad idea. Don't do that. You have to create a third hole, I forgot. Okay. So, this is gonna be the hole you're gonna blow out of, actually. You're gonna suck out of this hole. So you're actually gonna make your other hole on the side here. So, just go in, let me get, get your, get another paper towel. Sorry. And go in on the side, really doesn't matter. All the way in until it meets the other holes. There we go. It meets the other holes. Plug up this hole on the back, and this one is low in. If air's not coming out, you didn't do it right. That should work. Okay, let's see. Yeah, air's coming out now. Now it's done. So this is how you use my freaking ruined my one video. Here we go. You're going to cat, you're going to pack the top, but not so it goes all the way into the hole, but like just fill the bowl, whatever, you know? Then you're going to um, take your finger over here and plug this side up as you light this, and you're going to suck from this hole in the back. So you're going to go, and then you can release this finger to help with any ventilation. This is the one you suck out of ventilations on this side and then you go like this. 
and voila! You're going to have a chill as fuck Christmas with your oregano. So anyway, there you go. That is all for this video. Thank you for watching. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and I will film a, another new video whenever I feel like it. Until then, have a great day. Goodbye. Oh,